Hey there, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how to start believing in yourself. Welcome to our Principle Based Living YouTube channel. I just want to remind you what our channel is all about. What we want to do is provide you with information that will empower you to live a happier, healthier, more successful life. And today we're going to talk about how to believe in yourself. And what I want to discuss first of all is just that question of how do I believe in myself? Because everything that we do starts with our thoughts. And if you remember, we've talked in other videos about the power of our subconscious mind and how words are important. And when we say things like, I don't believe in myself, our subconscious hears those words, our subconscious accepts it, doesn't question it, but looks for evidence to support it. But the truth is, all of us already believe in ourselves. Maybe we're just not aware of what we believe about ourselves, or what we know about our belief is that we don't have very much positive belief. So our belief in ourselves is more about the things that we cannot do instead of the things that we can do. So we're gonna to talk today about how do we turn that around and how do we use our beliefs in a positive way to help us accomplish the things that we want to do in our life. So let's go with the assumption that right now the beliefs that I have about me are limiting beliefs, that I don't feel like I'm very confident, I don't feel like I'm very smart, I don't feel like I'm very talented athletically or musically or artistically, whatever those areas in our life that we feel like we're not living up to our own expectations. So the first step is to be aware of our thoughts because we have those thoughts going on in our head all of the time. And most of the time we're not aware of what those thoughts are. Remember about 90% of the time we're on autopilot, which means 90% of our thoughts and we have somewhere between 10,000 and 60,000 thoughts every day. About 90% of those are happening in the subconscious part of our brain. So we're not really aware of what they are and we're not even aware of where they come from. When we look at the beliefs that we have about ourselves, where do you think that most of those beliefs come from? Now some of them will come from parents and friends and the things that they say to and about us. Others will be from thoughts that we create ourselves based on our experiences in life. So if I have a belief that I'm not smart enough, the first thing to do is to be aware of that thought and then the next step is to question it and to ask myself, is that belief true? And so I could say, well, what does that mean? I'm not smart enough. I'm not smart enough to do what? Or I'm not smart enough in comparison to who? The real question is, do I have the ability to learn? And any one of us could look back at the experiences that we have had in our life and find evidence that shows that we're able to learn. The fact that we're able to walk, that we're able to talk, that we're able to feed ourselves and dress ourselves, that we're able to communicate with other people. Everything that we're able to do at this point in our life, we're able to do because we have learned to do it. And everything that we have learned to do in the beginning, we didn't do it so well. We had to practice and with many things we had many failures or not completing or doing the things as well as we wanted to. But as we persist in doing it, we get better and better at accomplishing that task or performing that ability. The next step then would be, so first I identify the areas that I have those limiting beliefs in. I question those and see if they're true. If they are not true, then find the evidence that supports the opposite and begin to replace that belief in my head about that I am capable of doing this or I'm really good at learning or I'm a great basketball player. I do a fantastic job of passing. I can score at will. Whatever those statements are that you want to see happen in your life, begin to think those thoughts in your head and replace them with the negative thoughts of, you know, I can't do this. 
The next step would be if there are things in our life that we don't have evidence of, but they are abilities that we want to create in our life, then let's go ahead and create it. We can imagine what it is that we want to be able to do, and then again, use the evidence that we have that we are capable of learning. We learn new things every day, and it's just a matter of deciding clearly what it is that we want to accomplish, creating that belief in ourselves, and then going out and practicing every single day. We live in an amazing world, and all of us are capable of doing so much more than each one of us are doing. And a lot of that is because of our own limiting beliefs. And if we don't ever question those beliefs, nothing is going to change. But when we begin to believe that anything is possible, we're aware of our limiting beliefs and we let those go and replace them with the beliefs of who we want to be and what we want to accomplish, anything is possible. So I encourage you to decide who you are, who you want to be, put those beliefs in your mind, repeat those as often as you can, get rid of the negative ones, and go out and be the person that you really wanna be. Thank you. Hopefully you found this video helpful today. If you would like to work closer with me or get more information about what we're doing, visit our website of principlebasedliving.com and we'll see you there.